In this video, I'm going to show the steps that you can use to analyze video uh, in Capstone. So it's, I broke it down to three steps. Uh, there's lots of options, but there's three basic steps. So step one is to set up the movie and the graphs, which is this screen right here, which I'll show you how to do. Next is to calibrate the video, basically the frame rate, to make sure you have the correct frame rate coming in. Most videos, 30 frames per second, but if you shoot slow motion, you'll have to adjust for that. Uh, 120 or 100, 240 frames per second. And step three is to go into video analysis mode where you set up some axes, calibrate the calipers, which gives you a reference distance in the video, like one meter, what one meter is in the, in the video. Adjust the frame increment uh, so you can, uh, every time you click for data point, you're not going exactly one frame. So you can go maybe five or six frames because if you have 30 frames per second, that's a lot of clicks. And finally, you can collect the data and the magnifying glass helps that out. So let's go through those three steps. So when you first come in, you have this uh, main screen. I'm going to go to the table and graph view. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click the table and get rid of it. I'm going to click delete, uh, delete that display. And go over here to the right hand side of the screen where it says movie. And I'm going to click and drag it over. So that's basically going to become my data table. My, my, my video is my data table. I'm going to open movie file. I'm going to create video that we shot the other day. There's Craig. Resize it, nice and big there, and then uh, you can play the video. So the video is in. Okay, so that's step one. It's basically getting rid of the data table, which I suppose you can keep. But there's limited real estate here, uh, and to drag in a movie file, and that's a straight iPhone movie uh, from uh, that I emailed to myself. Step two, calibration. So step two is uh, to make sure you have the correct frame rate. So all you have to do is you have to right click on the video. And click properties and movie playback and right now we have 30 frames per second and it was shot at 30 frames per second so that's correct uh, if it were 240 you'd, you'd have to adjust for that uh, and so forth so that's that's good there so that's step two pretty simple step three there's a couple steps we're gonna set up some axes and calipers which gives us a reference distance adjust the frame increment and collect data and this is in video analysis mode so we're actually going to jump into video analysis mode now Video analysis mode is this second icon. It's uh, the crosshairs with three data points, it looks like. So I'm going to click on that. And when you do that, uh, uh, what appears are the axes, the reference axes. So I'll put that right here where the ball begins its motion. And then some calipers. So you could drag these around. Now, we don't have a reference in this video, but uh, when you shoot a video, it's good to have a reference of what a meter is. I'm just guessing what a meter is, let's say, right there. Okay. So it can, the the so Capstone can correctly uh, uh, collect position and velocity data. All right. So that's setting up the axes and the calipers. The next thing is adjusting the frame capture rate. So if you have a 30 frame per second video, you're gonna have to click 30 times uh, one per frame for one second of video, which could be a lot of clicks. So you you might not want to do that. So if you right click on the video now and click on properties and we're in video analysis mode, there's something called the overlay uh, option. And the frame increment is right here. So I can, instead of advancing one frame per click, I can advance many frames per click. So I'll say four. Okay. And then the next step is to actually collect the data. So if I, what's nice is they have this magnifying glass tool here. The, the volleyball is pretty big, but if you had a smaller object, it'd be easier to see with the volleyball tool. But now once I'm in this video analysis mode, once I click, I'll follow the center of the ball. If I click, it's Craig to the ball. There it went down here, went down here, went down here, went down here, went down here. And as you can see, if I move my hand, it's putting crosshair marks on the ball, which are actual data points, basically my, my video data table. Let me continue and so forth. Click, the ball's at rest. And then he's going to accelerate the ball. So you can see this is kind of dependent on how well you, geez, where's the ball? Right there, maybe. This is where the high-speed video comes in. At any rate, there's my data points. And then once you have the data points, which is basically your data table, you can click over here on the graph, and I can look at any one of the uh, X or Y quantities I want to take a look at. So X position, Y position. Oh, that's a, actually a nice looking graph there. Um, x velocity, y velocity, and so forth. 
Uh, and then you can use all the normal tool, tools that you normally use before, slope tool, point tool to analyze the video. So that's a real quick tutorial on how to use Capstone's video analysis tool. Step one, set up the moving graphs. Step two, calibration, uh, calibrate the frame rate by right clicking on the video. Then you go to video analysis mode, which is uh, the icon that looks like a uh, some dots with the crosshairs. Set up the axis, cali uh, calibrate the calipers, adjust the frame increments so you're not clicking 30 times for every one second, and finally click in the data, and the magnifying glass tool is very helpful for that.